at home, things are a lot quieter. We have had uh, a decent amount of snow so far this winter, still slightly below the average, but certainly better than last winter if you're a snow fan. And still some snow on the ground, certainly in many spots, especially the areas that got under that heavy ban that came through Friday night. And it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon, especially in the shady areas of your yard because it is chilly outside. In fact, today will likely be colder than yesterday. 27 degrees, the current temp, but this breeze from the northeast is making it feel 5 to 10 degrees colder than it is, and that'll be the case all day. We've got a bright, clear day ahead. Clear skies this morning. That means it's very cold. In the afternoon, the sun will feel nice, but in the shade, definitely cold. 42 degrees, lots of sun, just a bit chilly for the time of year, but we will take it. Look at that sunrise, 647 this morning. It's getting earlier and earlier. We continue to gain about two and a half minutes of daylight every single day. 27 degrees tonight, clear and cold with just a light breeze, and tomorrow is a little more seasonable. We're back to 46 for the high, and it is mostly sunny. High pressure will be in control until Thursday night or Friday, and then some rain to end the week, although this system is not looking all that strong. It's really kind of two systems, one cold front moving in from the northwest. That That'll gain some moisture from a southern stream, which will kind of combine with that first one to bring some rain to the area Friday, really Friday morning, Thursday night into Friday morning. There may be a little snow or a mix in the Poconos, but for most of us, this looks like a rain event. It will clear out later Friday afternoon and then high pressure back in place for the weekend, bringing us some weekend sunshine, but a little bit of a cool down. So we'll try to warm up this week and then that front will knock us back down, but only briefly. You can see we had a, a little stretch of cold weather certainly here starting last week, right into the first part of the weekend in the wake of the snowstorm. Then yesterday we finally gained another red day on our calendar. We are still running about almost four degrees above average this month, and it's only going to go higher because look at this. This is next week. This is the Climate Prediction Center's uh, kind of extended outlook basically into next week starting Sunday right through next week temperatures are predicted to be well above average across the entire eastern half of the country so watch what happens in our area as we go through this week you can see a nice little warming trend then that front comes through with the rain chances Friday that's going to knock us right back down but only briefly high pressure builds in and it starts to center itself over our area and then start to shift east and that will lead to a big warm up in fact it looks like by the middle of next week we could be feeling like a little hint of early spring with temperatures headed to the 50s and possibly even around 60. So your next seven days from next weather, a few ups and downs, but the next two days are quiet. We've got sunshine today, mostly sunny tomorrow. Thursday will be kind of partly sunny. Clouds will roll in. There may be a stray shower here or there, but it's especially Thursday night into the first half of Friday that a little rain will impact the area. You can see how warm it is, though. We're not expecting any snow, at least outside of the mountains with this one. Then we're back to sunshine for the weekend. Starts out chilly. Sunday's a beautiful day, and by Monday, Monday, that warming trend really kicks off. We're up to 55 degrees to start next week, and as we just showed you, it may get even warmer from there.